how to derive the electric force on a point P from a disk of charge. So, here, I've drawn over here a diagram. So this is the disk of charge, and here's the point P, which is a distance Z away from the, disk of, the center of the disk of charge. So to find out the electric field from this disk of charge, we have to add up all of the mini rings that are inside of this disk, and then that will give us the full disk of charge. So if I draw one ring that is encompassed by this disk right there, then we can say that the distance from the center to this ring is Ri, and the thickness of the ring, which is the line I drew right here, can be written as Vr. So therefore, the electric field from this small little ring and this big disk of charge can be written as the electric field in the z direction equals k, which is 1 over 4 pi e naught times the, the equation for the ring of charge which is z times delta q over z squared plus ri squared to the 3 halves. To get this equation, you'd have to watch another video and derive, and on a test you would have to drive it on your own, but for the purpose of this video, I just threw it in here. So, from here, we have to notice that we have to make some substitutions. So, the only substitution we have to make is for delta Q. So, since this is no longer a ring, we have to use area charge density. Area charge density is written by this symbol, and it equals Q over A. So, for that, this tiny little piece of the ring, it also equals Q over pi R squared, and for the tiny piece, it equals delta Q over dA. So, taking this and rearranging for delta Q, we get that delta Q is equal to area charge density times dA. Where dA, since A is equal to pi r squared, dA is equal to the derivative of this. So we also get that area charge density times, the derivative of this is 2 pi r times dr, because 2 pi r is the circumference times dr, which, is, we, which we define as the thickness of the ring, will give us the same thing as the area of this ring. So we can substitute this right here in for delta q. Doing that, we get the equation, the small portion of the electric field in the z direction equals 1 over 4 pi e naught times z times area charge density times 2 pi r times dr all over z squared plus ri squared to the 3 halves. So from here, we can cancel out some of these factors. So the pi's cancel here, and the 2 cancels with the 4 and becomes a 2 on the bottom. So now it is time to integrate this function to get the full electric force, electric field force, instead of just the small portion. So integrating both sides, we get dE, integral of dEz on this side, pull out all of our constants over here. So by pulling out our constants on outside of the integral, we get z times area charge density all over 2e0. And then we have the integral of ri over z squared plus ri squared to the 3 halves. And our bounds for this function would be starting at where the disk where the first ring, tiny ring right here, equals 0. So we start at the very center, so our bottom bound is ri equals 0, and our top bound goes all the way out to the r. So our top bound would be where ri equals r. 
Oh, and then we can't forget to bring the DR down as well. So next, the next step is to use calculus and to integrate. So the best way to integrate this function would be to use u substitution. So if I do this over to the side, we'll just write down here. We can say that u is equal to this portion on the bottom. So u equals z squared plus ri squared. So taking the derivative of this, since z squared is a constant, the derivative of a constant is 0. So we get du equals derivative of z squared is 0 plus derivative of ri squared is 2r dr. So then to be able to plug this into here, we have to solve for dr so that we can substitute it in here. So solving for dr, we get that dr equals du over 2r. And then we can substitute this in for here. So substituting that in, we have integral of d dz equals z area charge density over 2e naught times the integral from 0 to r of ri over u to the 3 halves times du over 2r, which is what we, we substitute this dr in for here, and this is what we get. So then from here, we can cancel out what's in the integral, so these r's cancel, and since there's a 1 half here that does not have a variable with it, that can be taken outside the integral. So if I move my work up to here, that leaves us with integral of DEC equals Z charge density 2E naught times the integral from 0 to R of, oh, can't forget, the times 1 half out here. I almost forgot, but we can't forget that. Over 1, 1 over U to the 3 half which could also be written as u to the negative 3 halves du. It can also be written as, you could do this as multiplication, but it can also be written as that, so I'll just erase it for now. Okay, so then, it's time to integrate. So the integral of u to the 3 halves is negative 2 over the square root of u, or u to the 1 half. And then, we have to bring the rest down. Well, the integral of this is just the full electric field equals z area charge density over 2e naught. Well, and 2 times 2 is 4, so it's actually over 4e naught. And then we have to integrate this between 0 and r. But first, before we do that, we have to substitute u back in here. So if we look over here, u equals z squared plus ri squared. So, if we plug that in here, we get d squared plus ri squared. So now we can plug in, it, plug in for r. So, I'm going to do this down here because I've run out of room. But, plugging, first we have to plug in r. So we have negative 2 over the square root of z squared plus r squared minus, plugging in now 0 for ri, we get negative 2 over, if ri equals 0, so then we're just left with the square root of z squared, which is the same thing as just z. So then on this side we have negative 2 over z. So then, to simplify all of this down, we can take a 2 from the top of the of these fractions and take a z from the bottom. But first we need to bring down the function and rearrange it so it's easier to look at. So bringing down everything down we have the electric field is equal to z times area charge density over 4 e naught and rearranging this just so that since a negative since subtracting negative is a positive we're going to bring that in front. So we have positive 2 over z minus 2 over the square root of z squared plus r squared. So now, we can take a 2 out of these parentheses as well as 1 over z out of here. 
And by doing that, this factor becomes 1, this becomes 1, and since there's no z on the bottom of this in this denominator, putting a z on top evens it out and allows you to take the z out of the bottom. So, also, since we brought took this out, we can cancel. So these z's cancel because the z is in the denominator and the numerator, and the 2 and the 4 cancel. So this becomes 1 and that becomes 2. So now, with all these cancellations we just made, the final answer that we get is that the electric field from the disk on the charge at point P is equal to the area charge density over 2 e naught times 1 minus z over the square root of z squared plus r squared. And that is the final answer.